Hello everybody and welcome back. So this video is going to be a little bit different. Lately I've been playing a lot of casual. That's because I'm actually playtesting a card to see whether or not it's as bad as people think it is. And while doing so, while playing in casual, I've noticed that there are a few really bad cards that new players or players that don't have a large card collection uh, play. And so I want to make this video to just help out those players to choose not the cards that they're choosing and just choose really good replacements. And these replacements will only be from the basic set, so like the cards that you get for free when you make an account, or common cards from the basic set as well. No expansions, no adventures, none of that stuff. So, the worst card in my opinion, and I have been playing since closed beta for two years, so I have quite a bit of experience. Um, the worst card that all these new players are playing, and I've seen it the most out of any of the other cards that I'm going to list off, is this card, Silverback Patriarch. Now, it is a 3 cost for a 1-4 taunt. New players tend to really overvalue taunt. Um, and the reason why this card is bad is because it has 1 attack. It won't really kill anything from that. And the, the fact that it has taunt is not really... It adds no value because it's an early game minion. And during the early game, you're fighting for board control and you're going to be trading anyway. So the fact that it has taunt, it just doesn't really matter. And it just, it doesn't trade with anything and, or mostly anything. And so most of the time you just throw away a card or it's like pay three, gain four life kind of, which is god awful considering priest has holy flash, which is pay one, gain five life. Um, so yeah, what would be good replacements for this card? Well, it's on for me. It's on the same page Shattered Sun Cleric Even if you don't have another minion on the on the board This is still better than Silverback Patriarch. Why? Well, because not it can trade with a 4-3 uh, You know it can kill a 3-2 or a or a 2-3 But if you do have the minion, then it's like you pay three and you get a 4-3 Kind of. But, you know, if you have a 1-1 one, one on the board, you beef it up to 2-2, two, two, and then you can kill a 3-2 with that 1-1. One, one. So it adds a lot of great value that way. The other great replacement is Razor Fen Hunter. This card, I don't know why, new players just sort of skip over this card. It's really good uh, for what it is. You know, a 3 cost, essentially a 3-4. You get a 1-1 one, one boar. Uh, that is a beast, I guess, but that doesn't really matter to new players. Uh, but yet this card by itself without the 1-1 one, one, still kills a uh, Silverback Patriarch in two turns uh, and lives and then you get the 1-1 one, one on top of it So it's so much better, but yet I barely saw anyone playing this yet I saw so many people playing Silverback Patriarch So if you're playing Silverback Patriarch get it out of your deck immediately and replace it with one of these cards or if you have other cards or some dust, the best replacement, in my opinion, is Harvest Golem. For a common card with the basic set, this card is incredible. A three cost, four, four, kind of. Not only without the death rattle, it still trades with the Silverback Patriarch. Uh, the reason why it's, you know, better than Razor Fan Hunter, it's because you get a two one, and also it's a death rattle effect. So let's say you have a bunch of minions and you're playing a shaman and he uses, you know, lightning storm to clear your board. Afterwards, you get the 2-1. So you still have something left uh, for your next turn, as opposed to the Razor Fan Hunter, who the 1-1 will die. So this way, it's, it's better having the death rattle effect. Harvest Golem is probably one of the best three drops from the basic sets. Scholar Crusader, a 3-1 Divine Shield. So it can kind of deal six damage to one minion uh, in two turns as opposed to Silverback Patriarch, which only deals two damage. You can pair it up with Dark Iron Dwarf to take out a Yeti. You know, like you play a turn three Scholar Crusader, your opponent plays a turn four Chillwind Yeti, and then on your turn four, you play a Dark Iron Dwarf or even an Abusive Sergeant, and now that's 5-1 Divine Shield, and you get to trade, you know, you get to kill the Chillwind Yeti for free. A uh, really, really, really good card. Other decent cards to trade up, like Ironford Grizzly is uh, is better than Silverback Patriarch. Uh, it's it's okay. Another really good common card is Earthen Ring Farseer. You know, you can 
he, if you have a you know a three two it's taking damage or a two three and it's taking damage you can play this and heal it up uh, you can heal up a bigger card in the later game it's just a solid card it's much much better than silver rat patriarch and again it's only a common card so that was probably the worst card that i'm going to talk about and yet it was the most played that i saw so the next card on my shit list is goldshire footman now goldshire footman in my opinion is not as bad as silverback patriarch because it is a one drop uh, but again the fact that it has taunt is absolutely meaningless it doesn't matter that it has taunt problem is again that it doesn't kill anything for the most part it will kill other one drops like a 2-1 but there are so many better one drops out there for instance abusive sergeant this is the card that i talked about that you can pair up with a scarlet crusader and it, you get a free five damage if it has a divine shield still you know you can play this on turn one and yes it will die to a, a one damage hero power but you have the flexibility of playing it later on to soup up a minion to, to trade up with it or just play it as a 2-1. It still trades out with the Goldshire Footman. Or if you have a 1-1 on the board from like a Haunted Creeper died and you have two one ones, you can play this and kill the Abusive Sergeant with, or not the Abusive Sergeant, kill the Goldshire Footman with your 3-1 Spider. It has so much more flexibility and it's only 40 dust. It's just a lot better. The other one is Leopard Gnome. You know, if this goes unanswered turn one, um, you know, you do two damage on the next turn, and it, if you get to attack with it twice, that's six damage for one, uh, for one mana. It's just incredible ag aggressive card. And the last really good, decent one drop, at least in my opinion, Worgen Infiltrator is really good. Um, I totally think it is worth putting in if you have if you're running uh, Goldshire Footman. Replace it with this because it cannot die to one uh, one damage hero power because they cannot target it. I don't suggest going face with it and unstealthing it. I suggest you wait to be able to trade up. You play this turn one, uh, you know, they play a two drop, like a knife juggler or a three two, and you get to kill it with your one drop. So you're sort of trading up. It gets good value. Uh, definitely worth replacing. And one of the basic cards that you get with this set for free, honestly, Alvin Archer, it might seem silly, but the battle cry deal one damage can be uh, very useful. You don't have to play it on turn one. If you play it on turn one, it's actually, if they don't have anything in play, I would not play it on turn one. I think it's worth running more than a Goldshire Footman. So the last card that I want to talk about that a lot of new players play with, uh, not a, probably not as much as the other two that I talked about, but Frost Wolf Grunt. Again, you're noticing a theme here, I'm sure. Uh, all these minions have taunt. And once again, these early game minions, the taunt just does not matter. Uh, not very good stat distributions for just taunt honestly there are so many better cards in this river crocolis is a basic card you get it when you uh for free the one taunt in the frost wolf grunt is sort of replacing one health and honestly the one health is just so much more valuable this can kill the grunt and still be alive to attack a three two next turn or something like this can two for one if you're killing two two twos you know like um the two three is just so much more valuable than a two two taunt uh, the Bloodfen Raptor, a 3-2, although yes, the Grunt does trade with it, but this can kill a 4-3. You know, it can kill a Piloted Shredder, their first iteration of the Piloted Shredder. One attack or one life is worth more than just having Taunt. Probably one of the best three cards that you get is Acidic Swamp Booze. It's a 3-2 for two, so good stat distribution. It destroys a, a weapon of your opponent. So if you're playing as a warrior or a shaman and they have a weapon, like you just kill it with this. And, you know, so it's really great early game just because it's a good minion, but it's, um, you know, amazing to use with the battle cry. It's just, it's so much value for two mana. It's ridiculous. Another really fun card is Mad Bomber. Now it is 40 dust. You can kill the uh, Frostwolf Grunt just by playing it if you get lucky. And then you're left with a 3-2 on the board. He's really fun. And honestly, man, like just for the fun value, I think this card is worth it. Um, but he can, you know, three for one if you get really, really lucky. If you get unlucky, it sucks, but uh, honestly, that's kind of, sort of half the fun of Hearthstone. The last basic card to replace it is a Novice Engineer. While yes, technically the Frostwolf Grunt does win in a straight up battle, but you get to draw a card. So I think the card advantage would be worth it. This card used to be a 1-2, which was really good. It was run in almost every deck. But I honestly still think this is better than a Frostwolf Grunt. 
because especially in later game when you need to you know when you don't have many cards in your hand and you need to start drawing some answers or some win conditions this can definitely do it so now i'm just going to talk about some cards that you should almost auto include in your deck if you don't have a very large collection or if you just have the basic cards and honestly if you don't you know one of the best cards one of the best uh basic minions is chill win yeti a four for a four or five just incredible stat uh uh, distribution it's just he often two for ones sometimes even three for ones he's just such a good card if you have him you play him if you don't have a large collection it's really just that simple another really good card is the Sejin shield master otherwise known as Taz dingo now yes it is one less attack than the yeti but a mid-range card that has taunt can add some value to it. It has three attack, which is enough to kill a lot of minions, so it doesn't have the problem of the Silverback Patriarch. Like, just look at the stat. For one more mana, you get two more attack and one more def uh, one more life, which is one more mana compared to Silverback Patriarch. This card is really good. I'm now playing Yeti and Ascension Shieldmaster in the same deck. I mean, you can have one of each or whatever, but this is definitely worth considering when you're building your basic decks and you don't have a lot of cards he's just he's a really good value sort of one of the like the staples of taunt minions in the game another really great uh late game minion is the boulder fist ogre for six man you get a six seven uh it dodges bgh big game hunter i mean they might be changing big game hunter recently because standard is just about to release but still this is a great card to include in your basic decks just all around a solid card. So if you're if you are running War Golem, it's not a horrible card, but it's really not that good compared to Boulder Fist Ogre. You only get one extra attack for one extra mana. And honestly, if you're still trading minions, the one extra attack is relatively useless because most minions don't have more than seven health. A really good replacement is the Stormwind Champion. Now you do lose one attack and one life, but all your other minions get plus one plus one. So if you have two or three other minions, like there's so much more value in it than there is with the war golem. So if you if you are running war golems, take them out for the storm and champion. You will not regret it. All right, guys. Well, that pretty much sums up cards that I think new players should and should not play. If you are new to the game and you found this helpful. Please let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. Or let me know what cards you would replace them with if you think otherwise. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you liked the video. And subscribe if you want to get notified when I upload more Hearthstone content. Alright guys, take it easy. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my stuff. I really appreciate it. If you want, click the links above and you can check out some of my other videos. And if you like what you see, click that subscribe button. Alright guys, take it easy.